Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at eyeballs. Now this picture here just shows an eyeball and it has all the different parts labeled. For this unit in physics, we don't need to know all of the different parts, but we do need to understand how the lens in the eyeball works. So we have a couple learning goals here today. You should be able to explain how eyes work to produce images and explain how incorrectly shaped eyeballs or lenses result in vision problems. So first of all, the eye has a lens inside of it, just like the lenses we've been working with in class. Only instead of being hard lenses formed out of acrylic or glass, these lenses are a little bit more smushy and they're formed inside of your eye out of biological materials. So the lens of the eye acts like a converging lens and it produces a smaller inverted real image on the retina, which is at the back of the eyeball. This is what's needed for us to see properly. So this image, which is inverted at the back of our eyeball, is interpreted by our brain, and it's flipped the right way around. So everything that we see actually shows up upside down at the back of our retina, but our brain interprets it to be the correct way up and flips the, images, the image the other way around. Um, in order for us to be able to see things that are near to us and far to us, our eye needs to be able to change shape slightly. So the lens has muscles that are above and below it that can contract or relax that actually change the shape of the lens. And so like I said, the lens is sort of squishy. It allows that shape to move so it can either have the light rays converge a little bit more strongly or a little bit more weakly and that will affect how we see the image. So the lens is thinner for objects that are further distance away, so the light converges less strongly. And the lens is thicker, so those muscles push it down for nearby objects so that the light converges more strongly. So the eye muscles are relaxed when we look far away, and the eye muscles work to shorten to the focal length when something is nearby. And you can actually do an experiment. If you hold your thumb out in front of your face, and you change your focus from your thumb to something far away at the other side of the room, back to your thumb, far away, and you go back and forth, you'll actually be able to feel those muscles in your eye working. So let's take a look at some of the disorders of uh, vision problems. So myopia, also known as nearsightedness, is when light rays focus in front of the retina. So instead of getting the image on the back of the eye, it's actually being produced too far forward in front of the retina. And, and so in this case, the light rays are being converged a little bit too strongly. So to fix that, we use a diverging lens, which makes the light rays bend outwards a little bit before our lens converges them in. Because they are be the light rays are being bent outwards, the light rays are diverging before they converge, then the com even though our eye converges too strongly, because they've diverged and they're further apart than they were at the start, they'll end up converging properly at the back of our eye. Hyperopia is the opposite, so it's called farsightedness, and in this case the light rays focus the image behind the retina, so it's too far back, so what we see on the retina is blurry. To fix this, we use a converging lens, and so in this case, since the light rays are not converging strong enough, if we have a converging lens that starts to converge the light rays before they get to our lens, and then at our lens they continue to be converged, then we'll have that stronger converging power to get the light rays to focus at the back of the retina. So let's take another look at our learning goals. Can you explain how the eyes work to produce images? And can you explain how incorrectly shaped eyeballs result in vision problems? If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please rewatch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.